Hello everyone, welcome again and today I'm going to show you another project in React.js So this time we have created a minus tech development and uh, create a complete end-to-end -end application in React So uh, it's modern application so you can say it's using MongoDB, Express and React.js and Node.js So my application is uh, as we are using this vs tool and it's under the tool and we are using postman to check the apis and as you know we are using database as a mongodb to manage our records so it's running over my server and the port number is i think double five double zero so i'm just moved to the my page and my browser and I, as I enter localhost 3000 uh, on which my application is running, this is the URL. <coughs> when I load this, it will show the front end and uh, the welcome page will be as a login page. So you can see, uh, uh, let's first see the complete demo uh, and the application, how the application is working, complete internal functionality of the application, then we'll talk about the source code and, and technology that we are using. <coughs> so. Uh, if you know uh, we have two types of role in the application the first one is admin and second is the user so you can say the end user so let's say and at the very first just logged in as a admin and check the functionality of the admin so i need to check the credence here so let me <coughs> so here we have the one record in the table and when i replace the table we have two records so this is for admin as a role id one so the email id is admin at the text admin at the test.com i think it's right let me copy it so i'm going to copy the exact email id and the password is one two three in the database okay, it's dot com right in the database uh, if you see the password is showing in encrypted form so it's an internal algorithm that we are using by code so the real password is one two three but it's showing the password in some string random string so this is the encrypted okay so here we have an admin so admin can check the available list of movies also you can create a new record for a movie so let's say i'm going to enter some title so demo movie and some description some cast and the genre so i'm going to say comedy movie director's name the duration so let's say a stuart movie and price let's say 250 also we have this option so you can increase or decrease the records from here so and hit blast to upload the image so when you click here and since i'm going to use some demo images demo images i'm going to use this one again and create movie <coughs> at the time when i click the uh, create movie it will show movie array now the movie is in the list uh, you can say here so the third record is there now so uh, we have another option like we can delete a movie so when I click on this button it will remove the movie and now two records are there also we can check all the details here also admin can check the booked movies but till now no user will book the movie so it will not display here and you can check all the users you can delete the users admin is on records you can't delete the admin but you can that the user so let's log out as an admin and now log in as a user so if you are an existing user you can directly log in in the application or you can register as a new user so when you click on this already have an account uh, like for the sign up when you go for the sign up you just need to enter the details so let's say demo user and i'm going to enter the email id as a user then at gmail.com and especially password is let's say one two three and sign so record is saved now and now just log in with the same user so i just enter user 
the rate it's gmail.com so when I click on the login button it will navigate me to internal and now after login I can check the list of movies so one movie is this a second record so let's say I want to book a movie as a user so I click on this book button it will redirect me over the payment detail page so here I need to enter the seat so let's say here I enter the six seat so it will calculate the total amount accordingly here I need to enter the name and the card number you can see some it is a card number and it's a dummy data so you are not going to use it at real time so let's say the month is 2021 so this is the dummy payment method so it's not real time payment so we are just using dummy by chain so when you click on the payment it says booked successfully now the record is displayed in the database now if this user will check my booking it will show the movie here right so this is from the admin side uh, from the front end side or you can say user side and any user can register in the application and check the available list and booking list also as i repeat admin can uh, log in in the application admin can perform crude operation to with the users also admin can perform the crude operation uh, with movies and check the book record so this is all about the functionalities and feature in the application and here you have a few footer also let's talk about the technology now as you know we are using react just this time so let's completely one stake development uh, one stake application and now let's come to the point and check how if you need the source code how can you get the source code so you will check the link in the description box it will redirect you over the code1.com where you get the contact details so you can mail us you can uh, whatsapp us you can ping us over the skype we'll provide the complete remote support to you so you can uh, we will help you to run the application at your machine so uh, you can buy this project and uh, have a happy learning thank you